Insert cord connector into machine socket inlet. If you like to use the foot controller, insert the foot controller plug into the jack. Turn on the power switch. Set the power switch to the I mark. Operation of the machine is controlled by the start-stop button. Press the start-stop button to start sewing. Press it again to stop. The color of the start-stop button indicates the status of the machine. Green indicates that the machine is ready to sew or currently sewing. Red indicates that the machine is not ready to start. Orange indicates that the machine is in bobbin winding condition. While pressing the reverse stitch button, the machine sews a reverse or lock stitch. After sewing, press this button to trim both the needle and bobbin thread, and the needle stops at upper position. While sewing, the speed can be adjusted by sliding the speed controller. Slide the speed controller to the right to sew faster and to the left to sew slower. When you turn on the power, the LCD screen indicates the center needle position straight stitch. Use the pattern selection buttons below the screen to select a pattern. The screen shows the number of the stitch pattern and the marking of the presser foot to be used. The needle position will change by pressing the needle up-down button while the machine is stopped. Press the needle up-down button to move the needle position up or down. When the button is pressed continuously, you can choose the needle stop position, either up or down. Press the Pattern Selection Mode Switching button to choose the Pattern Selection Mode. Practical Patterns, One Point Patterns, or Letters. When you choose your desired stitch pattern, the machine automatically displays the standard zigzag width and stitch length. To adjust these settings manually, use the zigzag width and stitch length adjustment buttons located below the screen. In case the thread tension is not correctly set, adjust the tension by using the thread tension adjustment dial, which is located under the cover on top of the machine. For free motion sewing or attaching buttons, remove the auxiliary bed and move the drop feed knob to the right side to lower the feed dog. Turn the power switch off before replacing the presser foot. Raise the presser foot. Press the presser foot releasing button to remove the presser foot. To attach the new presser foot, Align the pin on the presser foot and the groove on the presser foot holder. Carefully lower the presser foot holder with the presser foot lever. For free arm sewing, remove the auxiliary bed. As you can see, the accessories are neatly stored in the auxiliary bed.